Jack, Trouble on the Trestle Trail, five of five. Admissions is this way, Officer Bimenio says, walking Ada and Libby to administration. If she's conscious, I'll speak with your mother, then I'll come say goodbye to Jack. They'll take care of you here, Justine adds, nodding at a three-sided micro-cubicle and motioning to the man on the other side of the partition. Officer, the attendant asks. Evening, Mike, Justine says, noting the man's name. These are the Magasasakas. They're here for their son, Jack. He was just admitted. I need to see Lola Magasasaka. She was just transported, probably unconscious. Lolita, Ada says. Her name is Lolita. We call her Lola. It means grandmother. Is she all right? Ada, Justine says, I'll go check on her and come find you before I go. You go see Jack. Yes, Otto responds, nodding slowly, his face contorting in emotion. I will. Thank you. Think nothing of it, Justine replies, raising her brows at the attendant. Have a seat, folks. I'll escort the officer to Ms. Maga Sasaka and then be right back. Ma'am, he adds, raising his eyebrows to Justine and nodding his head to the left. Otto sits next to Libby, drawing his chair closer to her. It'll be all right, honey. Jack's fine. They just said so. But what about your mother? We should have called 911 sooner. Words warring with inflection, Otto responds, We didn't know. She'll be fine. Mike returns, holding Jack's hand, accompanied by a man in a pristine lab coat. Seeing his parents, Jack breaks free from Mike while Libby and Otto rush to him in return. Jack, 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 Libby says, lifting the boy and enfolding him in her arms. Are you okay? She asks tearfully. Yep. Tom took me to Justine, and Sarah Elizabeth brought me here. I'm fine, he replies joyfully. Where's Lola, he adds, the joy displaced by concern. She's fine, the man in the lab coat says, and so's this little guy. Just a little cold and scared. I'm Dr. Theobald, and Lola is conscious but groggy. Quite a bump on the head, but no broken bones. We'll keep her overnight. May we see her, Otta asks. Of course, Dr. Theobald responds with a micro nod and small smile, but she's quite groggy. I'll have a nurse bring you to her. Nice to meet you, he adds, shaking hands with Libby and Ada and ruffling Jack's hair. Say hi to Tom for me, okay, Jack? Okay, Jack replies, waving. Tom, who's Tom, Libby demands. Tom, Jack says incredulously. Our friend Tom, getting an eyebrow raised look of confusion from Ada and a Palms to the sky gesture from Libby, he adds, Our good cat? But honey, Tom wasn't with you. He was with us. Did someone named Tom help you? Yes, Jack insists. Tom did. From up in the sky, in the moon. He told me where to go and that Lola and me'd be good. Is Lola okay? He asks, his mood again tumbling. Yes, Libby replies, again lifting Jack and hugging him and Ada tightly. Let's go see her. Okay, Jack says, simultaneously squirming from and basking in the close embrace of his parents.